How does it feel to do business when you're mentally disturbed? Yeah, let's discuss that today. And what can we do if in that situation, what can you do? Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Kindly take a minute and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can always get the updates when I upload something for you. Now, excuse my voice again. <laughs> I lost my voice. I've stayed for a whole four days waiting for this voice to come back so that I can do a voiceover for this specific video, but it isn't. So I'll just record as it is now. In so many instances, I have found most of my fellow business people and even myself at some point being so mentally unstable and the reason is because of the business. Now, I also get a lot of questions from the conferences that I do. I mean, I've done so many conferences and one of the questions that I get from the people is, Ray, speak to us about mental health and doing business. Do they go hand in hand? That is a question that I get all the time. And when I got this question of mental health and doing business, I sat down and thought about myself. And this life that I've been of doing business for now a decade. And I remembered the times that I've been completely broken completely in a very depressed state. And then I thought, what was happening at that specific time? And what had I done to put myself in that situation? And here is the answer. Can you just take a moment and subscribe? If you haven't subscribed, like, leave a comment before we proceed. And shout out to Sankara Autograph. The conferences are always beautiful. I always have a great time as I teach and mentor you. And to everyone who gives me an opportunity to teach, I'm here to say thank you. I say to, it's one thing for you to have some information that you would want to share with people, that you'd want to teach people. And it's another thing for you to have people that are ready to listen or even to subscribe to your agenda. I'm grateful. Again, subscribe as we proceed. There are two instances in my life of doing business that have felt completely depressed. I mean, you don't just want to see tomorrow. And I thought deeply about those instances and saw how myself, myself alone, leaving God behind, did put myself in those situations. And the first one was as a result of love of money. I remember when I was starting in my ways of doing business, I went to the bank manager and asked them to give me a clear way of, you know, making a very good credit score where I can just walk into the bank and get a loan. And I remember he gave me the formula of everything that you sell, let every money go through the bank. And that is what I did and that is what I still do. So by the time I knew it, I had a very good credit score. And the problem with the bank, it can always track a business person who is doing well in their business. The next thing that they start asking you is, don't you need some loan? To buy this, don't you need some loan? Imagine it is the bank that is asking you whether you need the money to do this, you need the money to do this. At that point, I felt so special that, I mean, I've built my credit score to a level that even the bank is asking me, you don't ask to, you don't want the bank to buy you a truck for deliveries. You don't want this. And I started getting loans back to back back to back yes with no limit with no limit i could be having a huge loan that i'm servicing monthly and on that specific month i would get an overdraft and then on my my mobile app i would still go get more money and by the end we are get by the end of the month i realize that i'm supposed to pay the bank like four thousand dollars of loan 
Can you imagine $4,000? That tells you that it isn't that my business was not doing good, but it is the love of the money and lack of accountability and good structure of running the business. Did I have a clear way of separating money for business and money for my own use? Oh, no. No, 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 no. If I felt that I need to... Take my kids to I don't know where and spend a whole thousand dollars that weekend. I would comfortably do it, not knowing that I could be taking money that is needed by the by the business. I could be overtaking from the profit that I'm needed to use as my own salary. And in that season of debts, 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 left, right, and center, I found myself so depressed. Not that I'm not selling, I'm selling, but I want to see myself making huge orders from China of $5,000, of $10,000, of $20,000. And I kept taking more money and more money as I could pay and rest and peace was not my portion. So when I realized what I had done to myself, I started thinking of getting myself out of the debts. Now, the good thing about the bank, rarely would you get to a level of being auctioned. Not the microfinances. Guys, just avoid using those things. Work with the bank. I got a good strategy of paying back, yes, everything that I owed the bank until I cleared my name from all these debts. Now, it took me almost two years to pay all all my debts. Do you know how I did it? You know the thing that I always teach you on how to do business and how to start small? That is where I got the formula. Now, I got from doing huge orders of thousands of dollars from China and went down to working with what I have of orders of that, not that, but $300, $400, $500. Can you imagine I went that low? So what I would always do, I could show my clients on social media that I'm having every week. I'm having new orders coming in. People didn't understand that this is very small amount of money that I was trying to work with. My orders were very small, but I would have deliveries every week. If I make an order of $300 and I have made a sales of, of $700 and I'm expected to use $200 to, to do another consignment, that is what I would always do the same day, the following day. I mean, the moment I make my first, second, third sale, I would be into buying more or getting more from China. So I always had a lot coming in. And then with that system of working with what I have, I managed to get myself out of debt and it took me so long and it took a lot of changes in my life from, you know, reducing my expenditures, uh, going low in terms of everything, everything. That is when I became even a better minimalist. Now, that is one of the situations that I extremely felt depressed. If you're deeply depressed right now and you're trying to do business, could it be matters to do with finances? Could it be a problem with how you manage your finances, your accountability, and the structure of how you do your things? Do you have the receipt books? Do you audit your business to know how much is coming in and how much is going out so that you can be able to know, really, me as Ray, this is the amount of money that I get to take out of business and use for my own things. Just ask yourself this question. Now, I never had issues with marketing my products because I'm very good when it comes to marketing. I know there are people who are feeling depressed because maybe they cannot manage to sell their items. Maybe they are just stuck somewhere in their houses and in their shops. Think of the marketing strategies that you've put in place to put the market to put the commodity out there to be seen by thousands and thousands of people and be so sure you had a reason why you imported that specific thing and why you're doing that specific business. Now, the second time that I ever really felt completely depressed again, it was a mistake that I did. Now, I remember this client who came to me. And they wanted me to help them 
to start a hospital, a small hospital. And every time we had a sit down with this client, something kept telling me that something is off. I will, I always remember that. Like my intuitions would always tell me, Ray, don't do business with this person. Don't do business with this person. And that is why in my inputs classes and conferences, I talk highly about involving God in your things of doing business. In this situation, I completely lost my sense- senses in terms of I ignored what I'm feeling. I ignored even praying and even inviting God into it and just, you know, confirming it all choosing to follow what my intuition tells me. But instead, again, the love of money came in. This is a person that was giving me a business worth millions. And even to the last day, something kept telling me, Ray, don't get yourself into business with this specific person. In my classes, I always tell you, there's a business that you'll take. It will be the cause of your mental health, a chronic illness from hypertension to so many others, court cases, it will take away even what you had already gathered. I keep saying so. So be very careful. Be very careful when you're doing business. Not every amount of money is supposed or meant to go straight to your bank account. It is meant to go to other places. Not every client that you're supposed to deal with. And even when you're praying for your businesses, can you Pray to God to give you the right person to work with. Oh my goodness. Even if a client had already deposited the millions in your account and you feel an ounce of you telling you that don't do business with this person, refund them for your money. And I'm saying this because I ignored that. And the next thing that happened is this client didn't even finish up paying me my money. I had taken some loan to top up to be able to load the container. He ran away with all the money. And because he was a very senior person, they told me, you can do whatever you can do with your money. I'm not giving you your money. And it was a very stressful situation for a whole like one year. Yes, one year. That brought a lot of stress, not only to me, but even to my business. And what was I left with prayers? I remember I would go to the mountain to pray Heaven's Gate. We have a prayer center that is called Heaven's Gate. To just pray to God and tell God, God, remember what this person has done to me. I remember in my prayers all the time, because I really used to fast and pray for that person because of the things that he did to my business and in terms of, you know, everything. I remember my prayers were, God have mercy on me. I know I didn't do whatever I was supposed to do. I ignored every red flag. I ignored what he was speaking to me. But here I am asking for forgiveness. And God is very merciful. That is how I got delivered. But I can always point out that it was me getting into business not even listening to my intuitions while they are speaking to me. I think it's because I was a bit young and naive. And again, not even following the key roles of doing business from the accountability, signing of the documents, you know, having something that is written, signed and co-signed, having witnesses. I missed all these things because this is a doctor who just approached me like a friend and really asked me to do them a favor. And they had this big dream of starting a hospital. And I knew I could manage to do it. I lost so much that God taught me the lesson of this is what will happen to you if you continue doing business and not following your intuition and allowing your love of money to lead you. There are so many people who are in their graves. There are so many business people that have a very serious mental issues just because of a client who walked in from nowhere came to them and asked them to engage in a certain business. Be very, very, very cautious. Remember what I always tell you, consult God, 
sleep on it so that you can think deeply about it have your legal all the legal measures taken to protect yourself and your business then pray to god before getting yourself into it that is what i did and that is what got myself into some serious mental issues now to you my fellow business person out there that you're feeling really stressed up about everything to do with the business that you're doing i would want to post this question to you could it be something that you're supposed to know that you're not doing right like you're supposed to be aware of this is what is causing my mental health in terms of doing business and i'm supposed to work on it please call yourself a small meeting a small sit down analyze yourself as i did analyze myself and know what you're supposed to do Yes. Sometimes it will cost you selling some properties to pay off some debts. It is okay. There is a God that you know revives. God revives and God is going to revive you once you learn out of the mistakes that you've done. Sometimes you have to lose the cars just to get your mental sanity back because if there's one thing that you cannot be able to do effectively is do business when you're mentally unstable it does not go hand in hand in most instances where you're completely depressed and you're trying to do business what happens you make another mistake on top of another and top of another and by the time you know it the damage is too much that it cannot be amended sometimes it is even going to cost your life i want you to be more prayerful now that you're doing business and know that it is very much possible for you to be happy and doing business to be free from the shackles of debts and happiness mental health and all that now if you're right now you're doing business and you're feeling so low please write on the comment section let me know what is draining your mental you know capacity and capabilities let's talk on that comment section and share our own experiences so that we can learn from each other